What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. We're starting things out here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We're here because it's it's pretty close to Hershey Park, but more specifically, I'm visiting a friend Lance. Hey, what's up? My name is Lance. So for those of you who don't know, Lance is actually basically the reason Coaster Dash exists in the first place. Because the first video I ever made for this channel was literally just a compilation of all the roller coasters at Hershey Park because we'd be visiting for the first time in 2018. And it's basically just spiraled into what it is today, which is really awesome. And this is my first time visiting him in a couple years. So yeah, we are going to Hershey Park. That vlog will be coming soon. But today we're actually going to be doing Dutch Wonderland, which is a new park uh, for me. And actually he was, there, he was there when he was younger. But neither of us have done any of the big coasters. And you know, I say big with a grain of salt this is a family park none of the coasters there are really all too big but nonetheless i'm really looking forward to seeing it it actually just won the golden ticket award for best family park in the united states it did yes wow. <laughs> lance is like whoa <laughs> so yeah we're gonna head there right now like i said we're currently in harrisburg it is raining so i keep uh flinching but we're gonna catch the amtrak it's gonna take us over to lancaster pennsylvania and we'll see you guys very soon we made it <laughs> so far this music and this theming is pretty neat Dutch Wonderland, let's head inside. You ready? Let's go. Dutch Wonderland flexing their Golden Ticket Award for 2019, but they also won 2023's Best Family Park as well. Oh, you won um, two? Yeah, they have. They've won multiple for Best Family Park. I'm looking forward to seeing how that is because I've been to my share of family parks. And of course, when they say family parks, they're talking like, you know, parks that are mostly meant for kids, like Legolands and things like that. We're not talking family park as in Knoebels, you know, which has, it's a family park, yes, but it has thrilling rides. I think what they're taking it much more literally with the Golden Ticket Awards, but even still, I've been to some nice family parks. So let's head inside and see how this stacks up. This is my magical castle, and I'm glad you came today. I'm Who, is that Merlin? <laughs> So a cool fact about Merlin's Revenge, the ride we're about to go on, the first coaster we're doing here at Dutch Wonderland, this is the only family inverted coaster ever manufactured by SNS. And it's interesting, when this ride was announced, we thought it was gonna be a Vacoma coaster because most family inverts are. It's actually really not so competitive of a market. I think the family invert is definitely dominated by Vacoma. But hey, SNS, that's very unique. I'm looking forward to seeing how this rides and how it compares to the Vacoma version. for a family coaster, I enjoyed it a lot. It definitely felt similar to the Vacoma family inverts, but the Vacoma versions are definitely a little bit smoother. It definitely had a little bit of jank to it with it being a prototype attraction, but the forces were very comparable and it was a very similar experience overall. I enjoyed it, I thought it was fun. There's a cool like little dip under a tunnel at the end. A Little bit of a short ride for sure, but most family coasters do tend to be that way, so that's okay. We're gonna head to Kingdom Coaster next, which is the first ever CCI wooden roller coaster, another very unique ride at this park. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I liked it. It was pretty cool. I liked it. And behind Lance, here's this purple wooden coaster. We have no idea where we're going, where the entrance is, but we will find it eventually. All right, we're on the front row of Kingdom Coaster. Let's see how this is. The world's first CCI. Pretty cool. I like the purple one. The purple color is super cool. Ha <laughs> 
I might like it more than the family invert. But it is a bit longer, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, well, let's try it in the back too. See, see if there's oh, right better there. airtime back there. Alrighty, we're on the back row this time. Yep. See how this compares to the front. And Very curious, because honestly, for such a small wooden coaster, it is pretty fun, and you can tell it is a CCI. There's some little side-by-side -side lateral moments where there's very little banking on the track. A little bit of air time here and there. It's an enjoyable little coaster for sure. In between the two family coasters we've done so far, this one has surprised me a little bit more. Most the only thing about this ride is the rain. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a water coaster. Slows down at the top of this one. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Hey! Whee! <laughs> What are we thinking? It was, it's pretty good. Obviously not the best, but it'll be good. How does that compare to the uh, invert? You like that or the invert more? I like the invert more. Though. I mean, the, the invert's shorter though, so that's the thing. Yeah, I'm still thinking about it. I think we need to get more rides on the uh, on Merlin's Revenge. See, yeah. see how it is in the back maybe, but this coaster definitely provides quite a different ride from the front and back. The back is pretty underwhelming, doesn't really do a whole lot, but in the front you do get a little hint of laterals and air times. It definitely feels like a little baby CCI, which obviously is exactly what it is. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like the small Gravity Group family coasters, but like an old school version. It's a fun coaster. I do, I do like that. I think in the front row it surprised me a little bit with how good that was. I'm gonna head back to the invert now, Merlin's Revenge. Get a few more laps on that thing should be fun. My girl, guys. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Let's see how it is. Woo! Woo! Shaking around a little bit, but hey, the forces are better. Oh! Fun. Front or back? Which is better? Probably back to be honest. Yeah, I think so too. So I think we're both in agreement that Merlin's Mayhem, that's the actual name. I was calling it Merlin's Quest the whole video because there's a coaster at Castle Park, part of the same chain, called Merlin's Revenge, but that's not the name. So Mark from the future here, can we talk about the fact that I needed to make a correction for a correction? I was all over the place today. Merlin's Mayhem, that's the name. I'm trying to remember that. For some reason, I just can't remember that for the life of me. But yeah, we're both in agreement that back row is definitely the best on that one, and Kingdom Coaster, the front is definitely the best, and I'm really having a hard time deciding between the two. What do you think? overall between the two which uh, is your favorite the main like con is like that it's short it is a short ride but can the coaster isn't that much longer though i like inverted coasters so maybe that one's my favorite Gonna get a nice scenic ride on the monorail now. Should be getting some good views of the coasters. And that's the one thing I still need is some good off-ride shots for you guys. Cause these are some very nice looking coasters. Merlin's Mayhem is a very cool looking ride. And Kingdom Coaster is like a purple wooden coaster, which is quite cool. Cause most of them are just brown. That's quite nice. You have this little pond back here. The back part of the park looks very good. We're about to race the Kingdom Coaster. Here it goes. <laughs> it's so cool having a flight over, over us. That's sick. That's sick. That's so cool. There it goes. This thing takes you outside the park too. It's pretty long. Yeah, very, very pretty. It's really cool. And there's Merlin's Mayhem. I was hoping we'd time it right and a train would be flying around us again, but that's okay. Very pretty coaster. And while on the monorail, we saw that the smallest coaster here, Joust, which I haven't shown yet, is actually testing. So it's very, very likely at this point that we'll be getting on all three coasters in the park, not just the big two. Which, of course, the kitty coaster is a kitty coaster. It's not meant for my target audience, but it's not a park I think I'm going to be back at any time soon, if ever. So it'll be nice to get all three credits before heading out. When we got here, we were under the impression that the kitty coaster joust was going to be closed all day but here it is it's testing looks like it's going to open hey I'm scared. I'm scared. this is the scariest ride it's the scariest ride I've ever in my life you've ever done I'm panicking, bro. this is very janky this drop is like almost sideways 
Why are we leaning left? Okay. Whoa! Maybe adults shouldn't be allowed to ride this. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ow! That wasn't very comfortable. <laughs> These sound effects coming from you, you know what you know what you sound like right now? You sound like this. between your lap yeah so you do get some air time in the front hey. so a little something different what are we doing right now uh, we're watching a show i don't know what it's about though but it looks cool i'm very curious as to what a show at a family theme park will look like so uh let's find out according to my dutch wonderland brochure the castle was built over 20 years ago it's very old and very magical yeah very magically spooky whoa can't we just go home and order a pizza? No way, Dylan. We are gonna find a treasure, and then you can buy a thousand pizzas. The girl found like a key to unlock the next clue or something. She just literally like reached in the pool to get it. After everyone else did like triple front flips and didn't find anything. Why are we suddenly dancing? This show is so weird. I know it's meant to be for kids, but it's not cohesive at all. Like suddenly we were just dancing because why were we dancing? I don't know. So the show is actually pretty decent for what it is, especially for what it, what's at a family park. I wasn't expecting a park of this size to even have a show. It was definitely like a little cringe, but I know it's not for, for our target audience. Yeah. I will say this, the very end of it, I was so upset because they had finally gotten the treasure, which is what they were trying to do for the entire show. They were trying to find treasure in this castle. And at the end, it's like, oh, let's just put it in a museum. We don't need treasure. That's what you've been trying to do for the entire show. You are dedicated the entire time to finding this treasure and then at the end you want to reason with the villains aka the trolls because everyone wanted the treasure for personal reasons and so you're like oh let's just put it in a museum that's so dumb you could have realized that at the beginning and been like eh, screw the treasure we're just gonna let them have it it's still fun like i thought it was enjoyable for what it was and it's hilarious that a park like this has something like that but i was just like what in the world was that ending man so dutch wonderland definitely has some quirky things you push this i was just like what in the world was that ending Man. <laughs> Super fun. Reminds me of something you'd see in Europe. Looked right out of the eyes for some time now. Thursday stays home and red sees his doctor. Well, we're just wrapping up a day here at Dutch Wonderland in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I have to say it was a pleasure to visit another park here in the state. In a state with so many big amusement parks that I always want to revisit, it is hard to make time for some of these smaller ones, but I finally got to do this one after holding it off for so long. And I have to say it's a pleasant park. Does it deserve the golden ticket for best family park on earth? In my opinion, probably not. I think I have been to better ones, but it's a fun park. It has a good atmosphere for sure. And it has two fun coasters. Kingdom Coaster probably ended up being my favorite here. The original CCI, really a fun little wooden coaster. It's really cool in the front row. As well as Merlin's Mayhem, finally remember to call it by its 
correct name. Also a fun ride, um, pretty decent. And I think if you're in the state and you're looking for something to do in this area, it's absolutely worth uh, checking out. Yeah, I definitely recommend it for family. Any family, honestly. It's a it, great family it, park. It's a solid park, yeah. If you have yeah. kids, it's a perfect park. Yeah, yeah. The kids will enjoy all the rides here. Yeah, they will. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're coming at you from Hershey Park. Can't wait to be back at that place. Even though it's only been a month and a half since my, my last visit in August, it'll be really fun. Lance is gonna be conquering quite a bit of his fears. Yeah, I'll see, you. I'll see how much I ride. <laughs> we'll see you guys there, peace out. And for some reason, Bojack Horseman is just like wandering around Dutch Wonderland here. Rehab was supposed to be a fresh start.